Podcast Empress here, back with another quick cars review. Now today, this is a special one. This is something that I worked on really very hard for and I'm I'm actually very proud of it as a first pass. This is a custom Thursday or as I'm probably going to rebrand it, the Empress Chop Shop because my customs these days, they are expanding into not just repaints. I am starting to use a saw and I'm using, well, to be exact, this saw. And I'm quite literally cutting cars into pieces. As you can see, I'm literally sawing them into bits, which is why it is now forth or henceforth, should I say, going to be called the Empress Chop Shop. Now, what I have here for you today in the first official episode of the Empress Chop Shop is my my version of a Motorama Girls hauler. Now this is based off the um, like 3D renders is the best way to describe them. The William A who made these beautiful things they're based off his design now they're not perfect i'll be the first to admit that i mean i've got a heck of a lot of work to go and this is my first pass and i will definitely have another go at the motorama girls hauler uh, who is obviously called mitch as we all know but mitch here is is a bit of a difficult one to create because he has such a it's such a different and out there hauler shape as you can see what i've done is i've taken a regular hauler Peterbill for that exact exact matter cut literally as you can see from the bottom into half painted on different wheels for him um I've then taken one of the next gen haulers um Gil or Jill, is it Jill Jill um cut her into pieces and smashed them together to make this snubby very small hauler compared to a very regular sized hauler I mean as you can see Jill's cab alone is bigger than the actual hauler and so what i've done is i've really sort of given this uh, a real custom and chopped it up hence the empress chop shop name now looking obviously at the renders you can see that my hauler still isn't exactly there it's not how it should be should be more rounded at the front here and have a bit more of a thinner sort of upper top where the eyes sit and a very much smaller hat um it's just so difficult to find the right parts but now I've really started getting into sort of sawing things apart I'm willing to give it another go because I really think I can get this right and really make a very good hauler for the Motorama girls which they deserve they deserve a really good hauler now on the back I could have made this section a lot higher as you can see from the render it is a lot of a higher sort of back on it and the smokestacks themselves I could have done a little bit of a better job on but I mean for a first pass I'm really not that upset this was a labour of love and it has in my opinion worked out really well I didn't do anything with the trailer at all I just gave it a new lick of paint as well as some wheel covers um, and then printed out some decals for it so the trailer is really nothing special but I think the way this shines is when you have them as a group so when you get the girls involved that to me is when this hauler really starts to sing and it really does work so you've obviously got Laverne, Rhonda and Sheila and they all look absolutely incredible together I've obviously got them in the wrong orders we've got Sheila, Rhonda and Laverne no come on brain <laughs> I absolutely fucked that up we got Laverne uh, we've got Rhonda and we've got Sheila and then I do have my custom uh, sort of next gen Motorama girl if you will and I called that one Shirley so we do have them all together and I do love them I love them as a group I think they look really good and I do want to have a go at the version of Mitch that we see in the comics so this version of Mitch and I, really, I am going to give it a go. It's going to be another sort of labour of love and it might take me a little while to sort of wrap my head around how I'm going to do it. But yeah, I think I should. I think I owe it to myself uh, to give them the hauler that we see in the animation that was done, obviously, like I said, by William A. And also by the version that we see in the comics. I think that would be really cool to have both of them. But as always, guys, I have waffled on 
far too much. So I will leave you all with that one and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks guys.